Good afternoon, everybody. This is David with TechFront.net. And a common question that we get is, should you buy an M1 Mac Mini or MacBook now, or should you wait for the M1X that is rumored? Let's give it a chat. Well, as we know, the M1 has hit the market, basically like anybody except Apple expected. They have basically mastered how to do ARM CPUs with one simple iteration and one little piece of software called Rosetta 2. Well, their little $1,000 machines, the MacBook Air starts at $1,000, $999, and the Mac Mini starts somewhere around $799, $899. And if you look at optimized apps, such as Final Cut Pro and things in the Apple ecosystem and some of the Adobe software that's out there, these little inexpensive systems can just totally destroy some high-end systems. Some people have Intel Mac Pros that are getting destroyed by some $799, $899 Mac Mini. And there's a lot of people out there running around that are in the Apple ecosystem that are wondering, do we need to buy it now? Well, let's chat about it. Rumor is that Apple is coming out with a M1X SOC system on a chip. Rumor is that's a 12 core machine with, or 12 core setup with eight performance cores and four high efficiency cores. In theory, that would be one heck of a machine if the numbers scale like you would expect from the existing model. Rumor is that it could announce with the new iMacs, it could announce with new Mac, MacBook Pros. This could be the 2021 announcement. Some folks are saying that it comes in March. That would be quick. Not impossible, but quick, I think. Apple did their announcement for the current setup of M1s last quarter, near the end of the year, in 2020. So, you know, give those products three, four months in production and then come out with something new? Well, maybe so. And maybe they keep the existing line at a cheaper price. Because you can certainly bet that the M1X is going to come at a premium. I think eventually Apple is going to make that price premium back that they make on the Intel machine. Sure, it's cheaper to make your own hardware. Sure, it's cheaper to make everything on a chip. But I think eventually they're going to figure out how to get that income flow back that they make on the Intel Max. We know that the Intel Max, when put up against Windows machines, are fairly expensive, whether it's the all-in-one iMac, the Mac Pro, about the only affordable machine in there is the Mac Mini, but the specs you get for the Mac Mini versus the price, the Intel model that is, things don't always add up. So, what do I suggest? If you need a Mac now, go ahead and buy. Odds are that M1 is going to do everything that you need to do. Final Cut, Motion, the Adobe apps are in beta, Premiere beta works okay, some of the other Adobe apps are in beta. If you're that creator, I don't think you're gonna be hurrying if you're in the market for the M1. Now, if you're a more advanced creator and you get in the 3D space and special effects, maybe you want to wait and see what that M1X is going to be. Maybe you don't need the M1X at all. Maybe you need to stay over here with Intel 
where you can get that dedicated, just raw horsepower. That's up to you. You know your workflow. But I think most people that are walking into Best Buy and walking into the Apple stores or ordering online can get everything they need out of the M1X or the M1, excuse me, the current M1. Like I said, rumor is the M1X comes in March. That's just a rumor. Seems quick to me. If I'm a creator or more of a high-end user, I wait for it. Do I wait and see that maybe the Thunderbolt support is a little better and you can plug in an eGPU? Yeah, maybe. But keep in mind, you can't run native Windows Boot Camp on the M1s. You can only run those through Parallel. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And you're not going to be gaming in any sort of high-end gaming to need an eGPU. So that's something to keep in mind. Would I wait if I'm a high-end creator and I don't think the current M1 is enough? Maybe so. If I'm an everyday creator such as myself, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Go get the M1 while it's inexpensive. Save yourself some money. I think people have a habit sometimes of buying more hardware than they need because it's the flashy thing on the shelf. We're all guilty of that. These manufacturers know how to put some flash, some bling, if you will, up on the shelf to get us to buy it. That's usually what we do. So, in the end, need a machine now. I think for most people, the M1 will do the job. Possibly need something high-end and you don't think the M1 will be enough, wait for the M1X. Take care, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Please like, subscribe. We're new. We try to give good old-fashioned consumer information such as this. We try to not bombard you with benchmarks, numbers. It's just what would we do as consumers. It's what we're all about. Check us out, techfront.net. Like, subscribe, we would appreciate it. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.